Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get past an art block. Now, there are a lot of different types of art blocks. And in this video, I'm going to be talking specifically about an inspiration art block, which is basically just when you want to draw, but you just don't know what to draw. And this, I feel like, is a common problem that plagues artists because a lot of time you just overwork yourself. You, if you, especially if you have goals, if you're doing it for professionally, you have to have so many pieces of artwork, and it 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 really exhausts the creative part of your brain where it's just hard to get inspiration of what to draw. So I'm going to be going over some ways of how to get past an inspiration art block and create beautiful pieces of art once again. So there are a lot of different ways to get past an inspiration art block. And I know one of them that I've heard of is to just basically draw shapes with um, with just like a giant brush, just draw shapes. And then inside of that, you basically just draw what the shape makes you think of, I guess. So then you just go to, if you're doing this digitally, then you just go to a smaller brush and kind of draw what you think you see in the thing, in the giant blotch of color. And I did a kind of variation on this in my sketchbook. I have a lot of stickers in my sketchbook, so I traced the stickers and I actually did this with my sister. I did an art challenge where we had to look at the shape, the outline of the sticker, and we didn't know what which stickers were which, and we had to just draw what we thought they looked like, and then my other sister judged on who had the better result. And it was actually really fun because it really pushed me to kind of think outside the box, because you have the, you have to, you really use your, the creative part of your mind because there's literally just a shape in front of you. But that's the beautiful thing about art is you can make a random shape into a beautiful piece of art. Another way is just doodling because doodling really just takes the pressure off of making art because a lot of the time there's a lot of, like I already said, there's a lot of pressure on, pe on people to make good art pieces. Like your art has to look good, but art is art. It, it doesn't matter if it looks good or not. It's still art. Art is just to have fun. That's what art, all, art is all about. It's just to have fun. So it really doesn't matter if it looks good and when you really realize that it's a lot easier to just let go and makes and sometimes it even turns out better than if you would have been focusing on um, making it good because then you're afraid to ruin it you know you're afraid to make giant leaps and because it might ruin it so doodling is a really good way just drawing little like cute frogs on skateboards literally that can help you get past an art block because it just brings the fun back into art, I guess. I forgot how to draw a frog. It's like, um, okay, I'm gonna stop drawing a frog, but you get my point. I like a mushroom, I'll make this into a mushroom. And it's a really good way to Make art fun again if you have if you're an art inspiration art block, and now we come to the uh, the main method that I want to talk about in this video, which I think is the best method that works the best for me, and that I think is just overall the best method. It's what I call the scribble method, and that sounds weird. You're like, okay, what is that? What is the scribble method? I don't actually know what it's called. That's basically just the name that I made up for it. But I actually did this in one of my elementary art classes. It's basically where you just get a small brush, pen, pencil, do just a scribble. And then you look at the scribble and you see, you try to find something in the scribble that looks like something. And then you just get a bigger brush and outline whatever the lines 
you saw that made up whatever. And that doesn't really make sense, but in a little bit I'll show you what I mean. But here are some examples of just ones that I've done in my sketchbook. Okay, here is one of the scribble method drawings I did. And scribble method drawing, that is a terrible name. So please feel free to comment your suggestion on what I should call these in the comments below because scribble method drawing, as I said, is a terrible name. So here, I don't know if I was just traumatized by COVID still, but this is, I just basically just saw a girl in a mask. Kind of boring. And let's see, do I have any other scribble method ones in here? I'm sure I do. I've been doing a lot of them recently. Ah, here we go. Okay. Here's a little small one I did. Ooh, a little piggy. I thought this one was super cute. That, I don't know, that's what I saw. It looks like a pig bat thing, and uh, I don't know. And then I was so obsessed with him, since he's so cute, that I drew him again over here. And as you see, you can draw it, but then also later you can add details as well to make it look more, less like a scribble, I guess. And here are some other ones I did. I was excited from doing that one. But this one, I don't know, I saw that like fish thingy. But then I also saw that it had teeth. I don't really like this one, but, you know, I was like, might as well try and draw in different angles. So that's a fun art challenge. And then this one, I don't even know what this is. It's a, a, a T-Rex with earmuffs and glasses on. But I don't know. I mean, it was the scribble. But yeah, that's what I saw. I highly recommend that if you're in a inspiration art block that you either follow along with me and do it yourself or do it later because it really helps to get past an art block, an inspiration art block. And it's just an, a fun exercise that really brings out, gets your creative juices flowing in your brain, you know? So here I'm going to scribble just a bunch of random scribbles zigzag, circle, 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 circle. Okay, that was too many scribbles. And now I'm going to just look at this. Um, I'm, let's see. What do I see here? And you can take your time. It, there's no rush to like do anything fast. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm seeing this like, so now you just go to a bigger brush. Let's say I'm using this. Turn it down smaller. And then, and if you're not doing this digitally, then just get a thicker pen. Or if you just did the scribbles with pencil, then just get a pen and just outline the line. So right now I'm seeing a like, I don't know, a boogeyman-esque figure right here. Like this, these are little, like the eyes right here. Kind of like, like this, top of his head. Then kind of goes like this. I don't know, this is just what I'm seeing. This is kind of like his, his jaw. Then it kind of goes down like this. Okay, that is hideous. That is terrible. Um, but, you know, the whole <laughs> reason for this exercise is that it doesn't have to be good. It can be this abomination. And, you know, that's fine. Because it really just... It gives you something to draw. Because that's the hard part is just figuring out what to, you want to draw. And so, yeah. I highly recommend that you do this if you're in an inspiration art block. And thank you so much for watching this video. It supports me a lot. Also, if you really love my videos and you want to support my channel, 
please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It supports me a lot, helps me out a bunch, and thank you so much. Oh, also, if you have any video ideas for future videos, please, I would love that. To drop them down in the comments below. That would be super helpful because I can't, I have a couple of video ideas, but I don't have infinite video ideas. So if you guys want to see some, me do something, please drop in the comments below. I will read all of the comments and consider all of your, uh, all of your ideas. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and peace out.